The legend that is Mike Shinoda from Linkin Park recently tweeted about the pressures that artists are under to create constant social media content. He recently tweeted, how is a young artist expected to put in enough time to get great at their craft when they need to feed all of these content channels? The time they spent generating mind-numbing content might have been at the expense of the best song they never wrote. And he's not the only one. Recently, megastar Halsey went viral on TikTok when she outed her own label, saying they weren't going to release her single until they fake viraled a moment on TikTok. Pretty ironic. Halsey said everything is marketing these days and they are doing this to every single artist and she just wants to represent music and she deserves better. And this also goes for Florence and the Machine, Charlie XCX and a plethora of other artists against labels pushing artists through social media. So are they right? Have they got a point? No, I don't think they do. Let's unpack this. So let's start with Mike Shinoda's tweet. He said, how is a young artist expected to put in enough time to get great at their craft when they need to feed all of these content channels? Well, I think if that's the case, we're doing it wrong because we don't need to feed all of the content channels. What we need to do is find the easiest, quickest route to communicate with your fan base via content creation. And that means potentially just one platform. And what it means is looking for the gold, your voice, your message, your talent, your assets, which therefore are your songs. If we can put that into 10 to 12 seconds of micro content, we've done the job. He goes on to say the time they spent generating mind numbing content might have been at the expense of the best song they never wrote. Well, mind-numbing content is in the eye of the beholder. Take an artist like Matthias Asato, an incredible guitarist, one of the best in the world. How long does it take Matthias Asato to make a piece of content and upload it to TikTok or Instagram Reels? Probably about 60 seconds. The hard work's been done in the last 10 years of him becoming such an incredible artist, an incredible musician. Now all he has to do is take the asset, himself and his playing, and frame it in a way that he can do what he does best for a few seconds and then say, great. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Look, I understand it can be tough and far be it from me to disagree with the legend that is Mike Shinoda. But in this time with consumption habit the way that it is, I feel like we do have to take the rough with the smooth. In the same way, if you wanted to be a top level athlete and say, training is a bitch, I just want to play. The reality is you probably wouldn't get to the top levels. Halsey said, everything is marketing, yada, yada, yada. Yes, everything is marketing. The world is marketing. You want to get laid? You go on Tinder? That's marketing. You want your friends to come out for a pint? That's marketing. You want to get a better job? You have to do a CV? That's marketing. What you wear, that's social currency. That's marketing. All of this is marketing and the world revolves in some way around marketing. And this isn't about social media content creation. Artists have been complaining about being overworked in the name of marketing since the dawn of time. Take an artist like Justin Bieber, who did 150 dates in five continents in 365 days. That is an incredible feat amongst itself let alone if you start adding in nightly meet and greets, radio interviews, TV interviews, magazine interviews, video shoots, photo shoots, a Netflix documentary. And this isn't inclusive of the travel time and the show itself. For me, this comes down to expectation versus outcome. When you're an unsigned artist, you dream of being a pop star or a rock star, revered for your talent, revered for your music, revered for your songwriting, having adoring fans, performing the best venues, having a house in the Hollywood Hills, partying with Coldplay. <laughs> that one was too easy. And then you get that life and you want the music to speak for itself and you hate the fact that this is marketing based and what got you there is now not good enough for where you are at. Poor old Coldplay. The worst bit is I really like Coldplay. <laughs> they take such a hammering. Guys, quick interruption. You're clearly releasing music and serious about getting results. So have you checked out DK Music Business Academy? It's got over 50 hours worth of courses, including the roadmap to 1 million streams course. What have you got to lose? Seven day free trial, links in the description. Let's crack on with the video. Well, how about this? Why not stop playing the game and see how that works out and how long it lasts? The thing that annoys me is this always seems to be a war against the label. You know, I'm not a huge advocate for artists signing to major labels, but in this instance, the labels are looking out for your best interest as an artist and their best interest as you, an artist, as an asset. They don't want you to flop. In fact, the more successful you are as an artist, the more they will benefit from you. 
So what is the answer? For me, it's really simple. There's two answers depending on the size of the artist you are. If you're a pop megastar like Halsey, then why not do what YouTubers have been doing for years and have a social media assistant who can help with the video and the editing and some graphic design and take it all off you. For the sake of 50 or $60,000 for a full-time salary, you could have someone that says, look, I'm just gonna bug you every so often for 10 seconds, 15 seconds. When you're on stage, I'll be filming. When you're backstage, I might take a few pictures. But that 50 or 60K could generate millions of dollars by making sure you are housing that audience and looking after them in the right way. But for up and coming artists like yourself, we need to stop overcomplicating it. Just because you've got long form content on YouTube, short form content, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, Reels, Instagram feed stories, it doesn't mean you need to be on all of them. All we have to do is find a way for you to make really good content at this moment in time, short form content that speaks to someone using your talent and your assets, which is your music. If you can do this right, it shouldn't take you more than 10 minutes a day. What I find really interesting is these huge megastars don't need to do this. They've already got the momentum. It's the label pushing them to try and get a bit more out of them. But for up and coming artists, these guys, they just gave you the answer to the question. It's like that TV program Jeopardy. What is TikTok content? It's how to have a more successful career as a music artist. Why? Because every single artist of their worth is being told by the biggest labels in the world that they need to do this because that's where consumption is. The opportunity that you currently have to make micro content and get it seen by hundreds or thousands or even millions of potential people that will then go on to listen to your music and buy your merch and buy your tickets, it will go away at some point, probably in the next six to 12 months as it gets more and more saturated. And for those artists that are on top of the world and feel untouchable, well, let me tell you something. The music industry is literally littered with huge artists falling from grace. In fact, I built a music college and I had so many tutors that had sold millions of albums because their rise to the top had also then come at a bit of a meteoric fall. So if you don't play the game, somebody else will. And right now it doesn't feel like you need to. My advice is you do need to. After all, for every Halsey and Charlie XCX and Florence and the Machine, there's also a Jesse McCartney and Natasha Bedingfield and Mandy Moore who've gone up, been at the top and then come back down again. So guys, I've got a question for you. I want to know in the comments, and I want you to be honest, how long you spend per week on your social media content creation. And then I want you to leave a link either to your TikTok or to your Instagram. So be honest, tell me how long you spend creating and I want you to leave a link. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through a bunch of them and give a few tips on ones that I think I can help with either tidying them up a little bit or saving a bit of time. So all I ask in return is, if you can just hit that like button because it really does make a huge difference to the YouTube algorithm. Otherwise, have a good one. I'll see you guys soon.